Well, thank you both. And while we're on the subject of Blue Book, let's hear another view from a scientist currently working for the government. Now, because he has insisted on anonymity, both his appearance and his voice have been altered. But his credentials have been thoroughly researched by the investigative team of Bill Moore and Jamie Chandray. They've given him the code name Condor. Captain Robert Collins spent 22 years in the military, six of them at Wright Pat. I had a top secret uh, SCI or special compartment in information clearance. Honorably discharged in 1988, Collins says he has come forward because he wants the military to stop covering up the secret UFO research he believes it has been conducting at Wright Pat for decades. It deals with all the black programs that the Air Force has, including all the classified, uh, super secret uh, reverse engineering. Over the years, questions have grown. Suspicion sparked by testimony from former employees, including Robert Collins, who says underground facilities are strategically hidden throughout the base. Never find it unless you get seen. According to retired Air Force Captain Robert Collins, uh, next building is 620. These civil engineering drawings show entrance to a massive complex of tunnels and vaults located under the base. Which leads to a set of stairs. Combining data from 25 years of research with information leaked to him by unnamed sources, Collins describes what he believes is under the surface. All these uh, tunnels and vaults are completely independent of anything else in the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. 60 feet down, below ground. And then there's a limestone rock bed, which is anywhere from 10 to 15 feet thick. So you may be as far down as 70 feet. You're looking at uh, probably the size of a couple football fields at least in, in length. There's roughly four big vaults. They're about 100 by 100 feet in size. They got carpeting on the, on the floor of the tunnels, and you could drive a pickup truck through. Collins says the most remarkable secret isn't the underground complex itself. It's what he says the Air Force was and possibly still is hiding inside. The things that were stored in these uh, vaults were, of course, bodies, alien bodies. All the cryogenic equipment used to support and maintain and preserve those bodies and medical examination tables and uh, biological testing equipment. 